it's kind of one of those brilliant reliefs, you know, that you, there's no press watching it now, there's just friends coming in and seeing it, and it's sort of ours now. So I'm, I feel relieved and happy and really excited about tomorrow's show. It's been a kind of intense like period of time that seems to have kind of flown by with this incredible cast. They're like astonishing. They're so courageous, and I'm sort of marvel at their kind of sh the sheer audacity uh, with which they go about this thing. I mean, it's like yeah, it's mind blowing. Jamie inspires real loyalty to the piece and a real sense of team and company um, togetherness that really I haven't felt for a while. You know, not in this way. And the piece is really difficult, really dense but very rewarding. It's brilliant to see someone like Jamie Lloyd taking such risks and pulling up them off with such class and an amazing cast and it's kind of so much to take in. It's going to be one of those you wake up tomorrow and go think about it all over again. Oh, I mean, that's a workout and a half for the, for the mind, for the body, just crazy. But they found, the cast and Jamie found some fantastic uh, comedic moments in it as well. I thought it was amazing. I mean, oh, I feel like I've had um, my skin flayed off, but in like the best possible way. So yeah, I thought it was brilliant. Absolutely loved it, yeah, it was um, rock and roll Dr. Faustus. Um, it takes a little second to get into, but as soon as you're there, it's, um, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. It's fantastic, yeah. I almost said yes before I read this edition of the play. I went, Faustus, Jamie Lloyd, brilliant, yeah, I'll do that. Definitely, I've always wanted to work with him. I've wanted to, you know, this, this play has is, is been on a kind of bucket list for a while. Um, but it was this particular rendition of it, this particular telling of it, which was so exciting with the Teven, with the Teven um, middle section. I think it's unique and strange and brilliant and very, very different from anything I've seen. I mean, this is a man who signs his soul to the, de uh, to the devil. He could have absolutely anything and everything he wants. And what does he decide to do? Become a sort of international heartthrob magician. It's completely pointless. You know, he, he teeters around the idea of potentially, you know, fixing famine or stopping wars, but effectively he just becomes insta-famous. And isn't that what so many people in our society want? It's kind of ridiculous, it's trivial, um, it's insane. Um, and that's effectively what the product is all about. It is taxing. <laughs> it's tiring. I'm not going to lie, I am pretty exhausted. Um, but this is, you know, this is... This is what I trained in all those years ago, and I've, I've, maybe that theatre muscle somewhere inside me has got a little lazy, and this is going to teach it very quickly how, how, to, how to grow again. I think it's a great forum for one night in your life to, to, to open that door and go, what is this all about? And what happens if you take that road where there's no consequences? You're only responsible for your own pleasures. Where does that lead, you know? And it's, it's fascinating, it's 400 years old and we're still looking at it, so, you know, it's got to be good.